Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and beautiful today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Carter defends hope after Ridge makes a decision behind Steffi's back. October 29, 2024, Tuesday, on today's episode of The Bold and the Beautiful, Steffi accuses Hope of taking advantage of Carter, Ridge approves Ivy's line, and Carter promises Brooke. Brooke informs Steffi that they were talking about Carter's proposal at Forrester's design office. Steffi claims that she recently discussed it with her grandfather and father. What did they say? Carter asks. In the main office, Eric tells Ridge that having to disagree with one of Carter's ideas is amusing. According to Ridge, this was significant and unique. They both agree that Forrester shouldn't do it. Ivy and Electra enter when there is a knock on the door. They run to give the two men hugs. Ridge finds it hard to accept that Electra is an adult. The two of them being there makes Eric very happy. It is better if there are more Foresters here. Ridge is aware that they have some ambitious plans for the jewelry collection. Ivy is invited by Eric to present her proposal to Ridge immediately. Ridge is eager to listen to her thoughts. Even though your daughter already turned it down? Ivy asks Ridge. Steffi informs Carter in the design office that his concepts are more ambitious and daring than a new line. According to Carter, it would be worthwhile. Hope believes his thoughts should be taken into account. Steffi warns Carter to use caution around Hope after glancing at her. If her primary motivation for supporting him is to preserve her line, she wouldn't be shocked. Hope says that Steffi is disrespectful. Brooke questions whether she truly believes her daughter would go to such lengths as to use Carter. Steffi claims that she will stop at nothing to achieve her goals. She is watching out for Carter as a friend. Hope claims that she supports him because he is also her friend. Carter claims that he supports Hope for the future because it benefits the business. Hope adds that she agrees with Carter's suggestion because it benefits the business. Steffi is informed by Carter that Forrester must change. Steffi claims to be aware of her position. He inquires about Ridge and Eric. Steffi claims he can speak with them directly. They will see what Carter has been working on. Rather of simply shutting him down, Hope is confident they will listen. With narrowed brows, Steffi requests some alone time with Hope. Ivy informs Ridge in the main office that she has been drawing since she learned Quinn had departed and that she has created a business plan. The rest of the story is known to him. According to Ridge, Steffi didn't believe the time was right to relaunch it. Ivy believes Steffi's rejection of the proposal is personal. Ridge requests to view her work. Ridge tells Ivy that it's impressive after examining it. Ivy wants Forrester to have a distinctive style of jewelry all its own. Ridge claims that it differs greatly from their previous experience. He returns the portfolio. They value his time, Ivy assures him. Ridge believes that restarting the line would be prudent. Eric concurs, failing to do so would be a grave error. Electra and Ivy celebrate. Ridge promises to speak with Steffi. That's how you leave a legacy, Eric laughs. Brooke tells Carter in the cutting room that she didn't anticipate seeing him half-naked on top of her daughter today. Carter laughs. They didn't want her to learn that way. Brooke cautions that Hope has been struggling recently. Hope is very important to Carter, and he would never do anything to harm her. He would go if he didn't believe he could be the man she deserves. He continues by saying that he has always respected Hope and her values. He enumerates her qualities. Brooke reiterates that she finds it extremely difficult to remember the end of her relationship with Liam. She gripes that despite Hope's repeated forgiveness, he ended their marriage after she aired. They talk about Thomas and Hope. Although she was unable to wed him, Brooke believes she appreciated his commitment. It's personal now, and Steffi continues threatening to pull her line. With Steffi, everything is personal. He cannot falter if he truly wishes to be in Hope's life. Carter claims he won't move and she can rely on him. She won't ever have to doubt his commitment. I can assure you of that. 
Hope is informed by Steffi in the design office that Carter's abrupt support of her and her brand is illogical. What's the matter between you two? According to Hope, they are co-workers and friends. But now, not so much. Steffi has always admired Carter's business sense and intuition. Hope claims that they are referring to Carter. How many times have his intuitions failed him? She laments that he has always had brilliant ideas but may have felt he couldn't express them for fear of being ignored. Carter is always heard there, according to Steffi. He belongs to their family. Then maybe you should believe in him, yells Hope. Squinting, Steffi asks, like you? Why do you think he's real? She queries whether Hope's faith in Carter is merely a ruse to keep her line from being cut. Brooke and Ridge have a kiss in the main office. There's a lot to think about these days, he informs her. Brooke noticed Ivy walking away. Electra was with her, according to Ridge. He reviewed their portfolio, which is excellent. He will approach Ivy about reviving the jewelry line. Brooke believed Steffi had cancelled. Ridge will speak with her. She requests that he discuss with her all of the threats she is making against Hope and her line. According to Ridge, they pose no threat. You've seen the numbers. This is business. Brooke acknowledges that there has been a pause, but that it will end. Steffi and Ridge both hope so. If Steffi does, Brooke wonders. Ridge mentions that Hope kissed Finn. Brooke tells him that it won't occur again. He no longer piques her attention. Hope warns Steffi that her charges are unethical in the design business. According to Steffi, that does not imply that they are untrue. Carter would never be exploited by Hope. Steffi notes that she kissed her husband after taking advantage of her brother. She will stop at nothing to achieve her goals. Hope will never make the same mistake twice. It won't happen again, and she has no affections for her spouse. At the door, Carter hears Steffi warn that she and her line are done if she ever crosses the line with Finn again. And Carter yells, enough. He inquires as to whether Steffi is threatening Hope by abusing her position as co-CEO. You have no authority to address her in that manner. She can't use her position to punish her even though kissing Finn was wrong. The division is detrimental to the business. She and her family benefit from the donations made by Brooke and Hope over the years. Looking amused, Steffi claims that although she has always urged people to voice their opinions, I'm still your boss regardless of how he feels about the choices she takes in her role as CEO. He has been engaging in some dubious activities lately. It isn't helping that he is standing up for Hope and Brooke. I'm warning you, she says to Hope. Avoid Finn. She leaves. Hope is informed by Carter that Steffi is acting inappropriately and that he will not tolerate it. He will not allow anyone to belittle her. He will always stand up for her. Hope makes a selfless sacrifice by giving up her line in favor of Carter's bold plan. Carter Walton, Lawrence St. Victor, has some controversial ideas about the future of Forrester creations, according to spoilers and updates for The Bold and the Beautiful. He thinks Steffi Forrester is being too cautious and passing up chances that could result in amazing benefits. Spoilers for the bold and the beautiful, is it better to be safe? Carter thinks it's time to start thinking more broadly and to escape the limitations of prudence. He sees no reason to play things so conservatively and contends that growth requires taking measured risks. In order to reach the highest level of luxury branding, Forrester Creations may pursue the mergers and acquisitions he has in mind. Carter outlined his reasoning for believing that if they follow his bold plan for the Forrester brand, there would be enormous financial gain. But achieving this goal will require a large financial outlay, which might cause Steffi and Ridge Forrester, Torsten K., to object. B&B spoilers, Carter Walton says Hope Logan needs more money for the future. Carter has been outspoken about the necessity of giving hope for the future more than simply time, he has pushed for greater financing to guarantee its rebirth. He now wants to revitalize the jewelry business and pursue a number of other endeavors that might have a big effect on the Forrester finances. Will Hope be prepared to sacrifice herself for Carter if Ridge and Steffi, in particular, reject his goals? What happens if she chooses to give up her line in order to finance Carter's bold plan? 
Her tiny contribution could be a potent symbol of her faith in Carter's intentions. Spoilers for the bold and the beautiful, would you like Logan to give up her line in order to make more money? It's possible that Hope is prepared to give up her baby and convey a strong message to Steffi. Hope might show that she was prepared to let go of the past by supporting Carter's call for a new vision. It would be an intriguing turn of events if Hope voluntarily gave up hope for the future, considering Steffi's continuous threats to cut it off. Putting her money where her mouth is, so to speak, this action could be a major sacrifice to help Carter and deepen their relationship. According to upcoming teasers, Carter will continue to make exciting predictions on Forrester's future, so be sure to check if he will have the chance to contribute to the company's success. The intricate power plays within Forrester Creations took another twist as Carter Walton walked in on a tense and heated moment between Steffi Forrester and Hope Logan. With Eric and Ridge Forrester in the process of relaunching the company's esteemed jewelry line, Steffi had taken on her CEO role with renewed intensity, determined to tighten her control over every aspect of the brand. Hope, however, had her own ideas for her hope for the future line, and that was enough to put her directly in Steffi's crosshairs. What Carter stumbled upon that day would not only reveal the complexity of the rivalry between the Forrester half-sisters but would also show Steffi's willingness to use her executive power to get what she wanted, even if it meant putting her family relationships on the line. When Carter arrived outside the office door, he was carrying a file he needed to discuss with Steffi regarding the company's legal contracts for the new jewelry line. However, the muffled voices he overheard from inside caused him to pause, a sense of unease growing as he recognized the intensity in Steffi's voice. Peering through the slight crack in the doorway, he saw Steffi standing over Hope, her stance rigid and unyielding, as she confronted her stepsister. If you don't get on board with the new direction of the brand, I'll use every ounce of my CEO authority to make sure Hope for the future takes a back seat permanently, Steffi warned, her voice a low but unmistakable threat. Hope, though visibly taken aback, did her best to stand her ground. She had poured her heart into her fashion line, which represented more than just a professional project to her, it was a creative expression and a point of pride. Steffi, I get that you're the CEO, but Hope for the Future has its own identity and a loyal following. Just because you have the power doesn't mean you should use it to stifle other voices here, Hope retorted, her voice laced with frustration. Yet, her words did little to deter Steffi, who seemed resolute in her mission to assert control, ensuring that her vision for the company would be the only one that mattered. Carter watched, troubled by what he was witnessing. He had seen Steffi exhibit strong leadership qualities before, but this was different. She seemed almost ruthless, her eyes cold and calculating as she made her intentions clear. This wasn't just about leadership or protecting the brand, it was about control. Steffi, feeling the weight of her responsibilities as CEO, seemed to be going beyond the usual bounds of professional authority, pushing her family ties aside to achieve her goals. Carter knew Steffi's ambition had been heightened by the recent decision of Eric and Ridge to relaunch the jewelry line. It was a decision that came with high stakes, aiming to revitalize Forrester Creations and bolster its standing in the luxury market. Yet, Steffi's insistence on controlling the trajectory of every line under the Forrester umbrella had become almost obsessive. Carter could see that Hope was struggling, her face a mix of anger and hurt as she tried to defend her creative independence. Hope's line had gained its own identity, carving out a unique niche that resonated with a younger, more progressive demographic. But Steffi viewed it as a distraction, something that took attention away from the company's core legacy. The relaunch of the jewelry line symbolized a return to Forrester's roots, an opportunity to focus on the legacy that Eric had built. Steffi saw it as her duty to steer the company in a direction that honored her family's name, and in her mind, Hope's line didn't quite fit into that vision. But Hope wasn't about to back down. This isn't just about business, Steffi. You're using your role to undermine my work and my voice. You know how much this line means to me and to the people who support it. Is that what you want, for the family's legacy to be built on one person's vision alone? She demanded, her voice tinged with defiance. Before things could escalate further, Carter decided it was time to intervene. He pushed the door open, catching both women off guard. Ladies, he said calmly, stepping into the room and closing the door behind him. I think we all need to take a moment and remember that Forrester Creations was built on collaboration and respect. Both of your contributions have value, and using power to make threats isn't going to help anyone. 
Steffi's expression softened slightly, though she still looked determined. She acknowledged Carter with a nod but didn't back down. I'm aware of the legacy, Carter. That's exactly why I'm doing this. We can't have multiple directions diluting the brand. With the jewelry line relaunching, we need unity and a focused message more than ever. Carter's calm but firm demeanor allowed the tension to ease slightly, though he could see the determination in Steffi's eyes. He understood her sense of duty to her family's legacy, but he also recognized the risk of losing the collaborative spirit that had made Forrester Creations such a unique brand. The legacy that Eric and Ridge had worked so hard to build wasn't just about a single vision, it was about the blend of creativity, family values, and respect for each team member's contributions. Hope's line, in Carter's view, added a dimension to the brand that appealed to a different demographic, one that could only strengthen the company's reach. Steffi, I understand the pressure you're under, and I know you want what's best for the company, Carter said, looking directly at her. But remember, diversity in our lines isn't a weakness, it's a strength. Forrester Creations became what it is because of the different ideas and talents that came together to create something unique. You don't have to see hope for the future as a threat. It can complement what you're building with the jewelry line. Steffi took a deep breath, momentarily considering Carter's words, but her focus quickly shifted back to hope. Maybe I've been too harsh, she admitted, though her voice retained a note of resolve. But understand this, hope. My job is to protect the Forrester legacy and make the tough calls. If your line starts to overshadow the company's core message, then I won't hesitate to pull back on its resources. This isn't personal, it's about preserving our family's name and ensuring that Forrester Creations remains the best. Hope, although frustrated, saw the slight concession in Steffi's tone and nodded. Fine, Steffi. I'll work on aligning more with the company's overall message, but I still believe hope for the future has a place here. We can appeal to both the legacy and the next generation of fashion. The tension had not completely dissipated, but the presence of Carter helped them reach a fragile truce. He felt a strong sense of relief as he realized he had managed to prevent a full-blown confrontation that could have done irreparable damage to both the company and the family's bonds. As they began discussing the logistics of the jewelry line relaunch, Carter remained hopeful that Steffi and Hope would find common ground moving forward. In the days that followed, Steffi continued to exert her CEO authority but began to take Carter's advice to heart, gradually acknowledging the value of Hope's contributions. While she didn't fully relinquish control, she allowed Hope to have more autonomy in her creative direction, provided it aligned with Forrester's broader goals. The Jewelry Line's relaunch was a major success, reinvigorating the brand's image and attracting media attention that celebrated both Eric's artistry and Ridge's business acumen. It reminded the fashion world of the innovation and elegance that Forrester Creations embodied. Carter's intervention had not only salvaged the strained relationship between Steffi and Hope, but also highlighted the importance of collaboration and respect within the Forrester empire. For Steffi, it served as a reminder that while her CEO powers allowed her to make executive decisions, the true strength of Forrester Creations lay in its collaborative spirit and the diversity of voices that contributed to its success. As the jewelry line continued to thrive, so did hope for the future, each line serving different audiences while enhancing the overall brand. In the end, Steffi's bold approach, though controversial, led her to a deeper understanding of what it meant to be a leader within a family company. Her willingness to acknowledge her own intensity and temper it with Carter's advice showcased her growth and commitment to Forrester Creations. For the time being, peace was restored, but in a family as dynamic as the Foresters, everyone knew that the next challenge was likely just around the corner.